Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN with Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. We got a lot of people, a lot of our customers are still running Flight Simulator 2004. Of course, there are newer versions out, but for some reason, people like these. There's clubs and all kinds of uh, plugins and situations and scenarios and things that I couldn't possibly understand as a layman. But um, I have had a bunch of people come in and tell me, hey, my flight simulator stopped working. And I've gone and checked for viruses, malware, it's not that. And after sugar, about 10 hours of trying to figure out and troubleshoot and reinstall and wipe it out and go through all this craziness, I figured out that it was a Windows update. And I don't know which one, but it was one of them that was installed on September 10th. Um, I don't have time to go through each and every one of them because uh, we're a pretty busy computer store, but it was something that was installed on September 10th. So if your flight simulator is not working 2004 and you have 9.1 installed, the update to Flight Sim that'll let it run on Windows 7, it's not your computer, it's one of the Windows updates that went haywire, and I'm not sure which one. So to repair it, just go in and start knocking out Windows updates, and I'll show you how to do that. Sorry about the bad video, this is the best I got. Uh-oh, wait a minute, Flight Simulator is actually starting, which is a good thing. But And you go back to the Start button. Come on, man. I'm trying to show these people how it's done. So you go to All Programs, and then go to Control Panel. And <laughs> Come on, man. I just reinstalled it. I really didn't have to do that. All I do is take out the updates. So then you go to Programs. And then you go to Programs and Features. And up here, there's something called View Installed Updates. And you can sort them by the date that they were installed. So uh, it takes a while to sort these things depending on how many updates. There could be hundreds of these things. And what I did is I found everything that was installed for Windows on, uh, well, it could be a different date, but it was Microsoft Windows and everything that was installed on this particular computer on September the 10th. Again, I didn't keep track of the numbers, um, but you're a smart person. You could figure out which one. Just start knocking them out one by one and then try your flight sim again and see what it works. You shouldn't have to reinstall it from what I'm told. You should be able to open it and it will miraculously work again. So hopefully that will help solve your flight simulator problems that worked for this young man. He was very upset. Man, he was visibly upset. And audibly upset too. It was crazy. But now he'll be a happy clam now to his flight simulator 2004 is once again working in Windows 7. Now I don't know if this thing runs in Windows 10, so if you get offered that Windows 10 update through this little icon here, you might want to hold off on that. I know it's free and it's tempting and it's really cool to have the latest and greatest, but um, it may or may not work in Windows 10. We haven't tried it yet, and uh, you have a year to think about it. You have all the way till the end of July of 2016 for that free upgrade, and they may even extend it. Who knows? And uh, there may be something even better and cooler out by then. But if it's working now, man, just leave it alone. My name's Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN with Computer Care Clinic, and that's Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day.